quite clearly just uh, yeah just unmute yourself and say that okay i'm hoping everything is okay right so um so so we so as i say we finished uh, we finished about the neurophysiology the second session is acid base uh, acid base balance and the third will be renal physiology which is like the continuation of of the acid um, of the acid base balance and um, and as you as you know well the acid acid base balance actually is is not um, is not the easiest topic okay to um, to uh, to to be asked in the exam okay it's got lots of um, lots of information lots of basic science information unfortunately which is lots of definitions as what you can see um, lots of equations. So it's it's not the nicest question, okay? You can you can get and and even when when the examiners ask you this question, I can tell you, um, he will he will not gonna he will not gonna be the the, the, the happiest examiner to ask you this question. Just he got this this question in front of him and he need to ask you. So he got no choice. Um, so yeah. So what so what we would do? We will. We, I, I tried to get to make it um simple and relevant to the exam as much as i can okay all this um resources you get here and all the slides you get here is basically from uh, lots of resources for the uh, for the um the frc exam and the european exam and um, some of, so, some of them actually are, are are quite you know are quite um, um the main resources where most of doctors and trainees here use in 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 uk before they go in for exam so they are quite quite relevant okay um i will go through uh, the presentation uh, okay i'll go through presentation but um give yourself time when i finish to read it back okay and then and then go and read it from uh, from your book or from where, whatever sources you use and then come back and read the presentation again okay so this is how we can get most of it, okay? Um, so it's the same, 50 minutes, 10 minutes break, and then we will come to, uh, to the last one, okay? So start with definition. So very basic, acid, okay, or the pH. What's the, what is the definition of the acid, okay? So it's a proton, it's, it's a proton donor, okay? And you can classify it actually into strong acid and weak acid. So strong acid is acid which can fully fully dissociate in solution, okay, like the HCl, like the hydrochloric acid. And weak acid is the acid which can only partially dissociate in solution, like the carbonic acid. Okay, that's why I say carbonic acid is a weak acid and HCl is a strong acid. Uh, carbonic acid, it's quite, uh, it's quite important because it, uh, it lay a very important law in the buffering mechanism. You can see, you can see this uh, later on. Second base, what is the base? It is a proton acceptor. So it can accept the H, the H positive, uh, the H positive group, okay? But the, but the acid can give the H positive group. So in a same, in a same way, um, as, as an acid strength, okay, is determined by its degree of dissociation. So, um, so strong base means the base can be fully dissociated. Weak base is um, is a base which is cannot be fully dissociated in solution. And um, what about the acid base buffer? Okay, which we'll talk about uh, uh, later is the main topic actually. So it's compromised of weak acid, okay. And it's conjugate with a base, okay, and 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 this base is can be dissociated actually in anionic products of an acid, and this and this buffer limit limit the effect of the hydrogen ions or the protons in any physiological solution. So it it will convert like for example strong acid to weak acid. And why and why the acid base buffer is important to keep. The pH of the body in a normal range. Okay, and why we need to keep why we need to keep the, um, the, the the pH in a physiological range? We will talk about that. So, what is a pH? And that's more actually important definition. Okay, um, um, yeah. I mean, I mean, the first slide and lots of the slides. I know it's much more basic science. Um, you'll be asked this in, in, in your in more in your primary exams. Okay. Uh, but again, it can be asked and in the basic science station, 
in 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 any in any uh, in any final exam. So, so pH is the negative log, okay, um, to the base of ten of hydrogen ion concentration, and it's been measured in nano millimole uh, nano sorry mole per per liter. Um, what is the normal hydrogen concentration in the body? Say so when you got when you got a pH of of seven point four, which is the normal physiological pH, the amount of hydrogen ions will be forty nano uh, mole per liter. Okay, and that's a very important number. It's it's you can be asked this question in, in your viva, um, and it can be coming as well in in your MCD exam. Okay, if you're preparing for the written exam. Um, and um, and then the change of just one pH unit would would correspond to increase of ten fold, okay, of of the um, of the hydrogen of the hydrogen ions. It's very minimal, very minimal change in the pH, okay, will will result in ten fold, ten times change in the hydrogen in the hydrogen ions. Um, okay, another definition, acidosis. What I mean by acidosis, acidosis is the ex excess of, um, of the acid within uh, the physiological system. It's just you're you getting, you getting more acid, okay? Acidemia, what is acidemia means? It means the acidosis, okay? Then the acidemia is the reduction of the pH to less than 7.4. So, so acidosis, there is increase in the acid, Okay, but when it when it when when this increased acid came to your plasma and your blood and starts literally affecting the pH and getting the pH less than seven point four, this is when we call it acidemia. Okay, acid base uh, acid base um, status. Right. So what, what, what we mean by acid base status? It's actually at the balance between the hydrogen ions and and the bases. Okay, within the physiological compartments of the body, so we, we we always want to keep this balance. If this if this if this balance being kept in a normal range, this is how you get physiological pH. If you get more hydrogen ions, okay, in your body and your plasma, what you're gonna get? You're gonna get acidosis. If you get more bases, okay, what you're gonna what what you're gonna end up? You're gonna end up with um, um, alkalosis, okay, which you you don't want that. So for a normal body function. Okay, the free um, the free hydrogen ion concentration or the pH must be kept within the normal range. And this will move us um, quite soon to why we need to keep the pH in the normal range. This is actually one of the one of the main thing to to make sure the mitochondria in your body. Okay, which is very very important. Okay, it it uh, it 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 does it does all the cellular functions. So every cell got a mitochondria, right? And this mitochondria is very important to 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 produce to produce the energy. Okay, and very important for what we call oxidative phosphorylation. And uh, and uh, and as you remember from your uh, from your medical school or basic science, uh, the aerobic and anaerobic metabolism, all this happening, all this happening in the mitochondria of the cells to produce ATP and ATP is very important for the energy for any any metabolic process in your body so all this all this function which is done by mitochondria needs a normal physiological pH if the pH is being affected change this will affect the function of the mitochondria okay and this will definitely affect lots of metabolic activities in your body as we can see later other thing as well is the enzyme function. So enzymes, you know, enzymes. Are? Enzymes are basically just proteins, okay, which facilitate and 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 and, and help lots lots of uh, lots of physiological actions in in your body. So these chemical reactions are very very influenced by the hydrogen ions, the proteins, okay. And and um, and basically, one of uh, one of the things which I don't know if you know this or not, if you remember this or not, the carrying capacity for the hemoglobin for the oxygen will be affected by hydrogen ions, and that's why oh hey ho, that's why you can see on uh, on uh, if you if you remember um, if you remember your uh, your graph for uh, for the high, for the oxygen saturation curve. And uh, and you remember when when you got acidosis, okay? When you got uh, when you got acidosis, you, what you will end up with, you will end up with uh, the, what we call it the bore the bore effect and shifting what, what will happen in the oxygen dissociation curve, right? And um, so this this will tell you that the amount of acidosis or alkalosis will affect how much oxygen will be binding to 
the hemoglobin, right? And uh, and uh, and and that's basically. So as you can see, the the, the pH is affecting many many functions in your body more more uh, more than can you think. Okay, so this is this is finally the answer for this question: Why we need to maintain normal pH, normal hydrogen concentration in our body? So first, to keep the homeostasis. What's the homeostasis? <clears throat> Just to keep the normal physiological environment in in, in your body. Second, um, metabolism. So hydrogen ions will affect the metabolism. Why it affects the metabolism? Because it does affect the mitochondria, as we discussed. Okay, so the mitochondria is very important for the metabolism. As, as I said, the, the aerobic and the anaerobic metabolism, this is all being carried in, in, in mitochondria. And mitochondria needs a normal, physio normal physiological range to act properly. Um, ionic, ionic flux, what I mean by that, the hydrogen, um, the hydrogen ions has a high charge density, okay, and can, can affect actually uh, the ionic flux, okay, can affect which ions, which ions will, will go through in and out of the cells, okay. So for example, if you've got high amount of hydrogen protons in the plasma or in, or in the blood, this, this will affect, this will affect the exchange of, of the electrolytes between the cell and between the plasma, okay. Other functions, which is um, um, quite important as well, enzymes will be affected, okay. As I said, enzymes are proteins, so your proteins, your plasma proteins in your body will be affected by the change in the pH, um, organ functions and, and, uh, and ions, okay. Organ functions, I mean, we, I mean, we all know, like for example, when you got acidosis, when you got when you got your patient with a pH of like seven point two point five, or seven point seven point three, or seven point, uh, um, yeah, something in this in this range, you will see this amount of acidosis will affect the whole body, and you can see this very clearly in ITU. Okay, when you try to when you try to treat uh, a patient, for example, who is post uh, post laparotomy with intra abdominal sepsis. Uh, for example, come to you in in, uh, in in ICU after he finished the procedure. I mean, all of you definitely have seen this. You starts to get you starts to get lots of affection in the whole in the whole body. Okay, acidosis can cause lots of problems in the heart, lots of bradycardia. Okay, and affect as well the myocardial uh, contractility. Okay, and it does affect lots lots of lots of the body function. Plus, definitely there will be something else happening because of like sepsis. Okay. Um, we will talk about uh, lactate and uh, and hyperlactinemia later in this session as well. Body defense. Okay. So so as I so as you can see, keeping normal pH is very important. Okay. So the body will be defending defending very thoroughly. Okay. Any change in 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 the pH, the body doesn't want to have any change in the pH. And this is what we call the body defense against, against, uh, against the change in the hydrogen ion concentration. Okay, so, so, so defense. There are some, some defense mechanism in your body which is quite quick and some defense um, uh, which is quite uh, delayed, okay? So what is the fastest way to control the pH in your body? The risk part, okay, the, the buffering system. Okay, which we'll talk about the buffering system, which <clears throat> which we'll talk about. Second would be so this will take only seconds to just adjust the pH. The second would be the respiration. So as you can see, as you know, when you increase your respiratory rate, what's going to happen? You decrease the CO two. Okay, and by doing this, 